Hey everybody, welcome to Whiskey Book in this special edition. Hey, I'm piggybacking off of Whiskey Row and in Whiskey Row, there's a sub channel called The Row where Dave, the, uh, the great whiskey connoisseur, does a different topic than whiskey. And because I'm going to answer the question right now, you cannot survive on whiskey alone. I know. I know it breaks my heart, but stay tuned to find out what we've got going on here in case you do need to survive. And maybe whiskey is a part of that. Hey everybody, welcome back to whiskey book. Uh, today, something different piggybacking off of what, uh, whiskey row did on the sub channel. Uh, the, I believe the title was, uh, something that get home bags are way more important than bug out bags and uh, outside of the whiskey channel and and this is very very small part of what i do i am a trainer a training supervisor i am former law enforcement swat a lot of things in the uh, military i did some seer stuff i had to retrain on that and got a little bit of background went to a lot of the survival schools so got a good background in some of this i'm not a pro by any stretch of the imagination uh, but i know a little bit about it we deal with it um, go through and do some stuff so when i see something like like uh, that that video it strikes me right here and i'm like let's do this so First off, I am gonna have a little whiskey while we go through this. And what am I drinking? I'm drinking, because it's just sounds right, Hirsch, 100 proof. This is the spirit of the journey, the Hirsch bivouac. Couldn't think of anything that was seen more relevant than that. So what do we got going on? In Dave's uh, video, he went through a bag, and we're going to do that here in a little bit, uh, piece by piece. This might be a little longer video, so sit back, grab your favorite drink, relax a little bit. But this is going to be a series because um, while I totally agree that a get-home bag is way more important than a bug-out bag, I also have one of those. And I got a couple others and I kind of want to compare what we have. So I'm going to show you real quick what I'm talking about. So what we're going to go over today is my newest iteration of my get home bag. Now I live in Montana. Um, while we are getting a lot more people nowadays, we still have some roads and some tracks and some trails when it gets cold out. We got 40 below a couple weekends ago. Um, where you might not have help coming your way for a while if you drive off the road or have a flat tire or a tree falls across the path or something happens. So you gotta be prepared. And that's kind of what I prepare my get home bags for is get home or get to a place where I can be able to get home. Whether somebody has to come get me or not, I wanna be able to uh, not just survive, but thrive out there. But. But, 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 that's not the only bag I have. Um, I have other sizes. So this one will be in next video. I'm gonna do this in a series. If I try to do everything in all these bags at once, we'd be here until next week. This is the one that goes in my Jeep. This is a downsized version, yet still contains a lot of good stuff. Uh, we'll find out next week what's in there, but I've got different levels of what we're doing here. With my Jeep, I do more I know where I'm going. It's going to be more camping. I already have some other stuff in the Jeep. So my bag needs to accommodate what I might need with that. Um, and then I also have a micro bag that contains just about the minimal amount of items you would need to um, make it if, uh, if things went south on you. And then, I don't even know if I can lift this anymore. I do have a get home bag, or excuse me, a bug out bag. And that's, holy smokes. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm back here, back here. Um, this is my bug out bag. I've set this up over years. I wouldn't expect anybody to have one of these put together in a day or a week. And if you do, more power to you, but these things get a little pricey, but a lot of, um, 
going to trade shows, gun shows, finding stuff on Facebook or whatever, hand-me-downs, a lot of stuff in here. Uh, but we'll go over that. This is probably going to be the the final one. So, holy smokes. There's a lot in there. So, but that's not today. Today is my primary bag. The one that most relates to what Whiskey Row did. This is my newest iteration, I said, because I had a much smaller bag before, and quite honestly, I really liked it. It was more like that other Jeep bag, but I just couldn't fit everything in there. And I also found that the strap, if I had to leave my vehicle and, and hike or go somewhere, was gonna get really uncomfortable really fast. So I'm gonna take a sip and we're gonna dive in into what I think uh, I need in my bag. And then we're gonna go over some options, some other things that may go in the bag, uh, some things that I would like to have and maybe I do inside my vehicle, but hey, these things are only so big you cannot fit everything. So be right back. All right, uh, well, first off here, also on my, uh, I wanna give a shout out to Clint Emerson and this book, The Rugged Life. I'll put a link to that uh, in the comments below, as well as to the Rose uh, video on this, cause it's pretty cool. But this, get yourself a book. Things go down, you go get out in the woods, yeah, you don't have internet. These things can help you. Um, so it's a how-to on how to get by. Okay, so the bag. This is a Maxpedition Jumbo Versapack. Right now, it's about $120 uh, on almost on their site. It's somewhere around $100, $120, depending on where you go. And I love this bag. And it's got the perfect amount of po pockets. It's got a padded strap on it. So if I got a bug or get home, I can throw this around, I have my hands free to do what I need to do, and it might flop a little bit, but um, it's gonna be a lot more comfortable than a little bag I used to have. So what do I have here? Let's go first off on this side. One of the things I really like about this bag is it has a space for your good old Nalgene bottle or a stainless steel one would probably be better so I could use it over a fire. Uh, right now, this is what I have. This is what I put in there and you'll see that there's nothing in here um, These are a great place to store fishing line toiletries Food tablets tea lots of things. I haven't filled it up yet. In fact, I just got this not too long ago That's why it is in the state it is in put a little duct tape in there You can put some other things in there. It's a great place to store it Just remember though if you got to dump all that out to use this to hydrate that that's all got to go somewhere so there is nothing else in that side pocket love to have it it's got a strap to tighten it down and also a velcro strap to go over the top it will keep your bottle secured we're going to go to the other side and i have a tourniquet and this is your cat tourniquet i also had some um other types of tourniquets, but cat is great to have. Um, hey, if you get in a situation, you get in a car wreck or roll off the road, hit a, hit a deer. I've hit deer before and it's so bad that it, it renders you, uh, your vehicle incapacitated and you are injured. Uh, if you're seriously injured, I uh, have medical in my truck, but this is right here too. You go hiking. I, I have a huge scar on my leg from when I was younger. I grew up on a ranch and I was uh, had to go chase some cows in and I didn't know the gate was closed. Ran into a barbed wire fence, sliced my leg up. Um, we did okay. We had some stuff on the ranch then, but you're out in the woods by yourself or hiking home wherever you are, the desert, wherever. It is good to have that. Could be your lifesaver. Okay, in this outside pocket here, I just have one thing, and that is a Gerber 
and, and you can use whatever st style you want, but multi-tool, it's always good to have a multi-tool on hand. This is the one that is really neat. I like it. It has the, um, the extension where you can put different bits in it. Um, I really like that. The bits are in this little bag. I think I got this bag on Amazon specifically for multi-tools. Don't know the name on it. It's, you know, it's one of those Amazon things. But hey, this bag works really, really well and it's got Molly on the back. I used to have it attached to Molly on the old bag. Okay, I'm not gonna slow down too much because there's a lot to go through and we got a lot to do. Okay top here there's a there's a really neat pouch right behind the strap before you get into the big pouch and this one is where I put my gloves my I have a, a ski mask this is like I said it can get cold up here in Montana and then another little pouch and you're gonna probably find as I go through these bags that uh, I have little pouches inside of pouches and that helps keep things organized. This one is my fire starter. So I have warm clothes and get me warm fast. I have fire starter material. That is, um, you need this stuff. And this is called wet fire. This, you take these out of the, the little packs, you know, put them on the, the you gotta stack up your your light tinder. You always go your lightest, smallest stuff up to your biggest stuff. Put this fire starter down there, strike it with a fire steel or a Bic lighter, or this is a little uh, spark maker. Can't remember exactly what that's called, but uh, that's what that does. You put that down there, it'll create a spark. Um, got your fire. And then you make sure you keep that fire going. I have extra tinder, uh, fire starters, not just tinder. I have fire steel to strike with a knife. I have to put this stuff out here. I don't know if another bothers any of you, but I always get anxiety when I watch people do these things and then they're like stuff. And I'm like, are they ever gonna put that back in the bag? But I will. Okay, thing you cannot live without, well, Maybe one without a safety. There we go. Bic lighter. Actually, this is a, a, a Jeep DJ EEP lighter, but a Bic style lighter. I prefer Bic and I don't have it yet, but you can wrap some tape around here. Some cordage helps you bring some stuff uh, along with you. It's always good to have some like, I, I use Gorilla Tape or T-Rex tape, I think is what I have. Um, wrap it around the lighters, gives you some, and then I'll put some either bank line or uh, paracord a little bit around that. It's always good to have some cordage. And I just have one of these little tools. Um, I don't even know why it's in, oh, I know why it's in the bag, because it's always nice to have like little Ziploc bags and stuff too. Those can be really handy, uh, keeping water out of stuff that you need. But this just kind of a little keychain tool. I don't know, these things, not sure they're worth their weight in gold or not, but I have one. It doesn't take up much room. There's little hex keys in there, bottle opener, string cutter. Might come in handy, but the bag, probably more handy. And then that's a, oh, no, no, no. Got one more thing. I got good old, the, the first fire starter, the, or the first modern survival fire starter, little wooden matches. I do not have the good matches in here, which are uh, the, the weatherproof ones, the storm matches. I believe I have that in my other bag, but we will get to that when we get to that. But anyway, so that top part, I got keep me warm, get warmer. That's what I have in there. Okay, also in this pack, that's why I like this. It, it's laid out really, really well for, the zippers aren't just on, stacked on top of each other they're in different places so i know that i can just on my side reach down in there grab my gloves grab my hat it's, it's good to go right on top up here so i know that i'm gonna i need to get into this quick i got my um get warm stuff but up here i also have a little flashlight it's a ooh, there we go this is a little nebo 30 dollar flashlight little bitty thing um called a torchy and i think that's why i bought it because i like the name torchy 
I also have, I'm not going to put all my bag, uh, eggs in one basket, so to speak. I've got an, one of these rechargeable lighters in the top. Um, you can start a fire with that. Also good just to have for other things, but has a another light on the, bo the bottom. So I got two lights right there. Not huge lights, but e either one will work. I have a set of earbuds. Now, you're gonna, you're gonna notice that there's probably a lot of stuff that needs recharged when you get a bag like this and you get rechargeable stuff. You gotta bring this in once a month at least. Check your stuff, make sure you're charged up. I have a, a little right in the rain pen. These things are neat, just turn them around. They write, uh, especially if you have right in the rain little tablets to write on. If you need to make notes to yourself or whatnot, because you may want to note time. This is a old, I carried this while I was on duty. The straps have gone the way of, I think, file 13 trash can. They probably broke at some point. This might've been my first one, but these G-Shock um, watches, I think this one is off. Yeah, we're off. I haven't reset it to the new times change well not new but since october or whatever it was still need to get in there but close enough right now um, it'll be right half the year anyway it's good to have a, a, a watch front pocket here so those that was up top here that's my i'm gonna grab that earbuds maybe don't need to be in there but i got a light got a pen i got time keeping that's really important that's right up on top okay in front of that i have some keep you going kind of stuff. I've got some butterscotch candies. I've got some eye drops. I have emergency thermal blanket and I don't keep this with the gloves and the hat and the fire starter because again, I don't want to keep everything in the same uh, pocket or bag in case something gets wet or something gets torn off or something. But this is up front and um, it's one of those you know, really cheap thermal blankets that'll survive you a night, but holy cow, you hope that um, uh, it doesn't rip on you because those can rip. But hey, these are small. We can't fit huge blankets and stuff in there. I have a cough drop because there's a good chance that you get caught out in the snow and the wind and the, the cold. You might catch something, but um, one cough drop, not a whole lot, but there's Sometimes you just need a little pick-me-up. And then another set of these fire tinders. These ones are little cotton things with some accelerant on it. You put them on the ground, you twist them up, and you can use the fire steel. You can use the um, lighter. You can use the little uh, spark maker. I'm trying, to, yeah, I'm trying to remember what that's called. There's a cool little name for it. Um, and you can start, get your fire going. But remember, little tinder, bigger tinder and so your little tinder is about the is as smallest as you can get it about the size of needles and whatever then you build up you go from pinky size tinder to thumb size tinder to uh, you know about an inch size two inch and then you get that going you can start putting your logs on but don't put the logs on too quick you want to make sure that fire is going pretty good and then kind of put them on one at a time you don't want to you don't want to snuff your your fire out by putting a big log on it. It's not ready. Okay, now we are into, oh, you know what? We are not into there yet because I have another front pouch. That's what's so cool about this bag is, is it's got more pouches in it than, well, it's got this many pouches at least. Okay, I have a Goal Zero power bank. Little Looks like a flashlight. It's not USB on one end. That's how you charge it, USB on the other end. Um, so if something goes dead, my phone goes dead, I have a power bank. I have some CR123 batteries. I've got a little uh, bag here. This actually came with a fire starting kit, Fire Force, but what I have in here, and I'm not gonna pull them all out, set of cords, USB, USB-C, uh, USB-A iPhone, I've got a, I've got a, the cords for all of these things in there. I got the one to charge up the little Nebo flashlight. It's all in there. I have uh, Neosporin, a knife sharpener. These little work sharp knife sharpeners. These are the best. These are like the best invention for 
woods, knives, anything. They are so handy. There's one one size up from this too that I absolutely love. But for this bag, that one will work just fine. Have a cliff bar, and we'll get into the food a little bit later, but hey, I can't fit a ton of food in here, but that can get you a long, long ways. Here is my right in the rain notebook. I have a card holder and on the back of this card holder, you might not be able to tell, but it's a survival. Size up the situation. Undue haste makes undue waste. Use your senses, remember where you are. Vanquish panic and fear. Improvise, value life. Act like the natives. Live by your wits or learn basic skills. Last one is so vital. This YouTube platform is so full of people who have so much experience doing this. You can find out a lot. Just, just follow the rabbit hole of this channel. Bug spray, that is vital. Um, Wintertime, not so much, but hey, maybe you, driving at night, hit the deer, hit an elk. Um, lots of stuff can happen. Um, bug spray can save your wits. You'll go back to that card, the wits absolutely necessary also if you're going through the woods keeps the ticks off you keeps you from getting and the mosquitoes keep you from getting some diseases maybe another pen um, and then the first little blade here this is probably for the price one of the best folding knives you can get this is a randall adventure training um, this isn't the rat one this is the rat two it's the smaller version uh, i believe it's d2 steel no, it's Aus 8. It's Aus 8 steel. It's nothing super steel, nothing super great, but this thing has a reputation for just going and going and going, and it's just handy to have. It's fairly lightweight, easy to use, no frills. It's gonna be there when you need it. And that is my front pocket. So we have hit everything but the main pocket. Main pocket, Cordage. I've got some, this isn't 550 cord, this is bank line, and yep, some of my stuff is still in packaging. I've switched some stuff out. Again, I have these four bags here. Some things go to other bags and back in, and I just haven't taken them out of the bags yet. So, but they're here, they'll work, okay? Um, I also have in here, now I'm not gonna take this all apart, but this is a toiletry kit. I've got a little bar of soap in here. I've got, um, some wipes, I've got um, the little um, tablet toilet paper. Like it's, it's about this big around and it just, the stuff will just expand into a big, you use it for a rag, for TP, whatever you need it for, it's there. Um, you're out there and let's just say it takes you a few days to get home. Brushing your teeth, washing with soap in a stream, which, what, being able to wash your hands is such a pick-me-up. Uh, it's It can be vital to your mental health. Okay, what else we have in here? We have another light. Now this one, I might move this and put this in a higher spot because these, are, these headlamps lights are just so nice to have. You put these on your forehead, especially if you have to walk through in, at night. Um, put it over your hat. Hopefully you have a hat. Hats help too. I, I think I have one in every vehicle, uh, especially a ball cap so things can't fall down in front of you or a boonie kind of hat. Headlamps, great to have. This one's just a, what is this? It's just a Duracell. Um, that's what it, this is a, the battery company makes that one. I'd like to get a Night Eyes or something like that, but those things are like 40, 50 bucks, some of them. I think this was $5.99 and it's always worked for me. Like. So, uh, and these bags don't go crazy, okay? Like, yes, you want good stuff if you get out there and things happen, but you can get, you. there are so many companies out there that'll sell you a bunch of this stuff that top notch, whatever, whatever, if you need it, and you can be in this bag 500 bucks or more, and be like, whoa, <laughs> I can't do that, and I'll totally understand that. Um, okay, this right here, talking about my little cases, is my water filtration system. This is a squeeze water filtration system. Um, the, it's made by Sawyer. This is the filtered part. You put this, actually kind of like this one because you can get these uh, 
the life water ones and they're just straws and you can drink out of things but it's hard to put it into another container this one um, you put it on here um, you can fill up this entire have water in here you can then transfer it over to your other container great to have um, this is a cleaning syringe that comes with it, but you can use a syringe to clean out wounds and, and all kinds of things. So I'm gonna keep that in here. Whoops, not just to clean that. Ooh, going crazy over here. All right, down to my last item in this bag, which is my, I'm saving it for last because it's my favorite, is you gotta have some sort of tool to get you out of trouble. Um, yeah, it can get you into trouble if you cut yourself or whatever, but this is the Benchmade Bushcrafter. That is the one thing I will not skimp out on these bags is the tool. Uh, having a knife like this is, uh, and this one is S30V steel, pretty good steel. I've treated the, um, if you ever go to the store and see these, these are the sheaths are usually lighter. They might have over treated these. I put some Obenhoffs on the sheath, um, water resistant now, but this knife, th this knife is, you can bet your life on this one. It's got a 90 degree spine. It will strike the fire steel. Um, it will last, it will cut, it will slice. You can keep it sharp with that sharpening stone. It got a good handle, a good feel. You can be safe with this. You can baton with this if you need to. And we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, that is the one tool. If I could take anything out of here, that's what I would take because you can do so much with that. And again, there's a ton of channels that can show you all the things that you can do with that. All right. So what am I missing? What are some other options here? Um, that's a lot of stuff in a bag, but I'm pretty confident with that, with the, the training that I have, with the knowledge I have, that um, I, I can make it pretty far. Now there's always some luck involved. Uh, tree falls on me in the night or something like that, or you know, accidentally hit a rattlesnake or something. What, what can you do? But as far, you can only prepare for what you know, and and um, I think I'm pretty confident in what I can do with this. But there are a couple things that maybe I'll try to fit in, maybe not. I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing if anybody has comments on what they would add. What am I missing? Well, obviously, uh, medical. In that little, uh, which my this kit, this little white thing back here is a little bitty first aid kit, band aids and stuff. But I definitely don't have trauma here in my truck i have a rip off back seat uh, trauma bag so i need to remember to grab that but it wouldn't hurt to have one of these little pouches with uh, a bandage um, some sealant maybe definitely some tape um, and gauze you can go do a lot with that uh, I, I have the tourniquet but it wouldn't hurt to have that that's one thing i have we all get used to our phones and our and the GPS in our vehicles. Well, if that goes down, runs out of batteries, these little old school now, I remember when these are the hottest thing, GPSs are nice to have. All right, had to do a battery switcheroo there. Kind of not sure where I left off. Um, talking about, I believe talking about these little old school uh, GPS units. What's really neat about these, Turn this on, triangulate, give it some time. It'll get your position. You can make waypoints. So if you have a campsite and you're going somewhere for water, you can mark points to get yourself back with that. Um, pretty neat. If you had to make a cache somewhere, this will uh, help you do that. Pretty cool. I could, excuse me, take a little bit more food. Uh, last line of defense. You want to talk about channels that talk about this stuff in great detail and are really good. Last line of defense, amazing channel. Uh, he talks about, he likes this peak food so much, he just eats it sometimes. One of these back here, um, per package, 530 calories. In a pinch, that will, you'll be hungry, but that can get you through a full day or two if you have to. Um, been there, done that. Survival school, can't say too much about it, but but that would have been, <laughs> would have loved to had one of those. Uh, little self-defense stuff. I don't have my pew pew in here. Um, 
I don't like showing those on YouTube channels. Just I don't like people to know what I have, I guess. Just a thing with me. I love watching them on channels, so I, I, I have nothing against that. I just worry about it for me. But Little Mace doesn't hurt. Don't always want to go to Deadly Force anyway. Um, yeah, wish I had tasers, wish I had all that stuff. But Little Mace doesn't hurt for two-legged and four-legged kind. Would it be nice to have maybe even a better flashlight? This is a Surefire G2, G3, I think. I think, in fact, this used to be in there. It's probably why I have the CR. I was trying to remember why I had those batteries in there, the CR123s. They go in this guy. This is a great flashlight. It's very simple. Butt cap on, off. Um, you can twist it and leave it on. I really dig that a lot. O lights are pretty neat because they have a magnet back here. But if I'm trouncing through the woods and everything, what the heck am I going to stick that to? I like the simple butt cap. I can, I can use it several different ways. Pretty neat. That's an option to have to bring with me. Um, bigger power bank. Now this used to be in one of my bags too, and I got to figure out a way to get back in here. And I actually brought it out to power it up. Little solar power bank. A lot of companies make these now. This one is by. I don't know, Fila? Don't know. Thought maybe this was a more of a name brand one, but put these out in the sun. It's got a light on the back too, so you can, um, you know, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Signal things. Yeah, blind myself. Light works. It's charged up. These things are great to have because you can. You can do a, that little power bank. You can charge your phone up and a couple other things. This can charge that power bank up and then you got continuous power from the sun. Should you be in a place where you can the, see the sun, that's a great thing. Um, you get into bushcrafting, woodworking. You're gonna make a shelter for the night. Having a some sort of saw. This is the Silky Pocket Boy. I've cut so many branches down with saws like this. I mean, these things, these things are amazing. This can get you out of trouble. In fact, um, my son got stuck not too long ago in his vehicle. Same, some kind of thing got off the road, hit a stick and it was wedged up under the fender. And we had an ax and we had a knife and we're trying to break it off. Pulled out one of these saws, like 40 seconds and, he's, and it's free. It, it, it can be, you can do amazing things with it. You can cut logs to length. You can set them down. You can make chairs. You can make your shelter. Very, very nice to have. Uh, another thing, be pretty cool to have. This goes in my Jeep. This, uh, yes, I know, it's the Baofeng UV 9G. I'm one of those. I'm only going to pay so much till I really get into this. I have my, this is a GMRS. I don't have my ham license. I do have my GMRS license. If I'm in a survival situation and my life's on the line, I don't care about any licenses anyway. But um, if you know the right channels, if you have them programmed in, I just got this not too long ago. I need to program those in. You can get a hold of somebody, come get you some help. And I believe it also has a distress button on the top, which that would be wonderful to have because I don't have a Zolio or any of those kind of things yet. Not a bad option either. Um, what's the most important though? Right here, guys, this is whiskey book. Whiskey Row made this little flask. I got this for a Christmas present a couple years ago. I've got a couple other little flasks. Not, not a bad thing to have with a little juice in there. Honestly, though, not in this bag, but I think in another one, I've got a couple little bottles of some good stuff. It's hard work out there. You're making fire, you're making shelter, you're go, 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 go. When you finally get to just settle down and your, your mind is racing and you're worried about what's going to happen next, a little snippet can kind of calm the nerves. It's not going to make your you warmer. Don't. That's a wives' tale. Um, you got to make sure you're warm. You have a fire going and everything. But that for the mind, that can be a great thing. Have some tea. Have some coffee. Have a little sugar. Have a candy bar. Those are things that I probably need to get in here because those are pick me ups that can make the world a difference. Get your mind right. 
But that's it, what I have today. Like I said, kind of a long one. That is my get home bag. And yes, I do agree. A get home bag is probably the most important of all the bags. Uh, my truck does have a couple other items in it and I can grab this bag and put it in the Jeep that also has a couple other items in it to supplement if I need to. But again, I'm pretty confident with what's here, but you tell me if I'm missing something uh, other than the medical, I know that's that's not here. I have a trauma bag somewhere. I've actually gone through a couple trauma classes. Uh, that's what I would suggest for anybody out there looking at this stuff is at least watch some videos and get you know that kind of training. If you can go to classes, do it. Do some civilian combat casualty care. Um, do something like that. Get your hands on it. it nothing beats that. Um, and oh. Yeah, so one more thing, supplemental in the vehicle. We're talking about in the vehicle. We'll be in here. Um, obviously I've got like the hat and the gloves, blankets, coats, those kind of things. Have those in your vehicle as supplements because hey, hey if, if anything else, I can get that blanket out, throw some stuff in the middle of it, tie it up, throw it over my shoulder like Huck Finn and when we're off and running and we have a blanket that can save our lives. So, hey, thanks for watching Whiskey Book on the kind of this special edition. The next one, I will go over uh, the smaller kit um, that has similarities, but a different purpose. And so do the other bags. And we'll get into those later and Hope you enjoyed this. I certainly did. And if you have any questions, just hit me up in the comments below and we'll see you next time.